Welcome to Matt's worst way to add an oil cooler. So we're going to rig this up here. There's several ways to add an oil cooler to a Volkswagen. Probably the best way is to correctly full flow your engine case. We're not going to do that. What we already have is a filter pump. Now they make a cover to make said filter pump into a full flow cover. And I could do that. And I have the cover, believe it or not. But I don't want to have to take my engine tins off. I don't want to pull the pulley off. I don't want to have to pull the cover off. I don't want to put the new gasket on, put the cover on, and then go through reverse and all that. I want to do this easy. And it's not the best way, but it should work. So what we're going to do is use a wafer adapter in between where the filter will go. Bought this one from CP Performance. There's your part number. 1735 wafer, wafer adapter. It's a quality piece. It's actually made in America by PC, which is Parama Cool. CB does not make this themselves, it's just repackaged. The nice thing about this, yes, it has oil on it because I already put it up there to see what I need to do, is see that little ball? That's a check ball. If whatever you're running as your external source here, which is going to be my cooler, gets plugged up or has too much pressure, being IE cold oil, this little ball will open up and let oil through to the other side coming out that channel there to go to the filter. So you get an o-ring which you're going to have to lube up and it will go in said groove and this o-ring will go against the original sealing surface of your adapter so or of your where your oil filter will go. So this will go where the oil filter will go. This will screw on to the nipple sticking out for the oil filter. You tighten that down and then you will get a new filter and screw on there. So I already see one thing. I might have to get a shorter filter because this is adding length. But we're going to go ahead and put this on there where I want to put it. And it does come with two barbed fittings for half inch hose. So it should do what you need to do. I need to put a 90 on that to clear it out of the way. So I have to put it back up there again and find out where exactly I need that. But I'll get that done and we'll show you the rest. So there it is. It's installed. So one thing I noticed, maybe this would be a better angle. If you use it on a Volkswagen Bug case, it's going to come pretty close to the sump. So you're going to have to put a 90 on it. Or you could go straight down or straight up, I guess depending on your application, but that's what I had to do. I had plenty of clearance to run that hose there. Put a 90 here, and then go down and over to the oil cooler. Just mounted to the floor and to the frame room, right at the uh, back body support brackets. So that should get plenty of air. It's not too low. It's probably about an inch lower than the uh, frame rail and about even with the floor pan. So, not the best way to do it. Like I say, it's coming really close to my header. Um, I'm gonna have to change this to a shorter filter. But that's the uh, sandwich adapter, wafer adapter from Zebra Performance. Fits on there pretty good. Put oil on the O-ring, of course. I torqued the lug down to about 25-ish foot-pounds. Um, didn't go too hard, didn't put any Loctite because I'll probably undo all this after my big road trip and I don't have this filter all the way tight, that's why there's a little oil there like I say, I gotta, know, gotta switch it out anyway anyways guys and girls see you later, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time